Now, almost 4,500 soldiers have been told they'll lose their jobs, the biggest cut since the election. It's part of the Ministry of Defence plan to reduce the size of the regular army from 102,000 to 82,000 by 2018. Ministers say the job losses are simply unavoidable. But Labour says the plan is flawed and warns that army morale is low. Cordelia Lynch reports. It is the latest round in a long line of cuts. The majority have chosen to walk away, perhaps a sign of fatigue. Others were forced. Major Chris Braithwaite left the army last week. He was made redundant a year ago after almost 16 years of service. He was 87 days short of a full pension. Now he says he'll get just half. My wife and I are profoundly disappointed and feel betrayed uh, that actually, um, whilst the military covenant uh, is uh, often talked about in words, the deed doesn't seem to quite be there to back that up. Today is the largest tranche of cuts so far, with nearly 4,500 servicemen and women losing their jobs. 84% have taken voluntary redundancy. Only 715 are being forced to quit. The army aims to cut its current 102,000 troops to just over 80,000 by 2018. When you consider how tough the job market and the economy is, it shows you how annoyed and frustrated some are. But within this, there's also 700 people who have been sacked. People who didn't want to leave, who saw the future in the British Army, who have been forced out. And that's a real kick in the teeth for 700 remarkable men and women who have kept our country safe all these years. Last week, the head of the army claimed further cuts would damage our chance of success on the battlefield. Today, it was all about a change in tactics. By doing things differently and making sure that we focus our military manpower on the jobs that absolutely have to be done by people in uniform with the right skills and so on, uh, we shall be able to sustain uh, a brigade in the field on an enduring basis and put a division into the field when we need to. So um, we'll still be able to deal with the challenges of the future. I'm confident about that. Britain can't shape the passage of conflict, though, as Syria proves. Despite the job losses, the army hope to recruit reservists, but they don't have morale on their side. And that is a weapon the military can't easily do without. Cordelia Lynch, Channel 4 News.